In this section of the experiment, we are going to analyze the resonance in RLC series circuits using an external resistor, the inductor from the test circuit, and an external capacitor. And we have one, two, three separate resistors to use. I'll show you the setup for the first resistor. So first, we want to connect from the negative of our resistor to the positive of our inductor. and from the negative of the inductor to the positive of the capacitor, which is the longer pin. And then finally, I'm going to connect my power supply, which is the signal generator, across the positive of the resistor and the negative of the capacitor. So here we have our R, L, C series circuit and our power supply which I've initially set to 10 hertz sinusoidal wave with an amplitude of 10 volts peak to peak. I'm going to switch on the multimeter into millivolts AC and connect the cables to measure the voltage drop across the resistor. Okay. Now I'm going to press output one to switch on the power supply and record the voltage drop in the resistor at this frequency. So with 10 hertz, the voltage drop is 55 plus or minus three millivolts. Then I'm going to turn up the frequency by dialing this knob. And at 20 hertz, the voltage drop is 216.5 plus or minus 0.3 millivolts. And continue to do these measurements to make sure you see a rise and fall in the voltage drop, meaning you've encapsulated your resonance peak. You will need to do more measurements to get a well-defined peak and then repeat these measurements for each of the three resistors. Once you've done this, you can use this data to plot the resonance peaks and calculate the peak position, Q factor and bandwidth for each peak.